Shizzy with the Xbox here with another top 10 video. It's been a while since I did a Dragon Ball Z video and I do apologize. So let's get into the list. My top 5 Dragon Ball Z sagas. My number 1 to my, well it's not worse because it's 16 sagas. So it's my top 10. I might end up doing the top 5 most worst sagas. Matter of fact, I will do one of those. So let's get into the list. At number 10 we have the Majibu Saga. Now reason why it's 10 and not higher is um <laughs> this one I, I like I guess I like did not like least the most because you know the 16 sagas all together um it was okay it, it starts like after the world martial arts tournament in the um dra the, um dra you know Dragon Ball Z um Boo arc um after that why would they they bring Boo back um until um Evil Boo was born. I believe that's a whole Majin Buu saga. Um, it was okay. It wasn't bad. It was good. It was some okay fights. The um, Majin Vegeta fight was in there. Um, so that's why I said my number ten. Now I'm at number nine. I can't remember right now, but I got this bad boy written down just in case. There we go. The Fujin saga. It was art. Right. It was funny with Piccolo trying to teach him how to um, do the Fujin shit. Uh, Fusion versus Fabu. I mean, well, um, Goten versus Fabu. It was light. It wasn't heavy. Um, versus Super Budo. It, it, that was really good. That was really good. Um, so, in the whole um, Vegito, Vegito thing as well. Um, that, that was good. Now, at my number eight, Kid Buu. Um, Kid Buu starts right after the, the, the Fusion. Um, the Fusion Saga ends when um, when they take Fabu out of um, Super Buu's body. Then he goes to, um, and then he transferred to Kid Buu. Now that's what should get real. Like you find out the original origin of Buu, um, how um, his ri the original creation of him. He was just pure evil. He had no thinking process. So how observing like the cause and shit fucked up his mental. Like made him have a, more of a conscience or have more of aware what's going on. So he wasn't as evil. So he wasn't as ruthless. He was still like strong, but you control him more like with regular conversation and shit. Um, that was good. Yeah, I like how they how they did that. Uh, at number seven, we have Imperfect Cell. Um, Imperfect Cell, just the journey with, with Cell finally came from the future all the way up to uh, we became Perfect Cell. Which is beautiful how he was like sneaking in the shadows and shit, like killing people and all that, so he could finally get to his goal and show his his ambition. You know what I mean? Because, you know, he's in the same timeline as Trump, so he had to like jump back in the time machine so he could like get the perfect form and shit just got real around that time like you had the airy feel in the show and I, I, I really fucked with that um at number six <laughs> the captain ginyu saga this is underrated um basically when they hit down on the real namek all the way up to i guess what freeze is about to like throw down that's basically the whole freaking own john it um it was how was it though? The fights itself with the Ginyu Force Saga was epic. The whole Raccoon when he was fucking up, you know, Krillin, um, Gohan, and Vegeta. Uh, the whole body switch was interesting. Uh, just the whole thing, searching for the Dragon Balls was in the sense. All of them searching for the Dragon Balls, who's going to get there first, which is very interesting. And that's why I got a little higher on my list and um, basically everything from the Kid Buu shit, like from the Buu Saga and shit. Um, at number five, okay, top five, Nitty Gritty. We got the cell i mean so we have the trunk saga um with trunks finally come come down Cause remember if you was watching this here you didn't you know you was watching while it was coming on in america um you didn't know about you know the future shit so you ain't like you played the games and you you got a sense of what's already happening so you watch the show you're like oh yeah that's good like no nah. like so i was watching it at that time that time element like the time machine and back and forth to different timelines it was epic to me and I found out, you know, everybody died in his time and you know, he's actually the son of Vegeta at the time. I was like, whoa, Vegeta got a kid? Who's the mom? Boma, we were just like Goku, like what? Boma gave my man the yams? That's crazy. Um man, number four, uh, we have the one that follows the, the trunks. Um the Android saga with trunks tell them how the Android's gonna come and destroy the planet. Um Android Saga was epic. Um uh, would have started off with Android 20, Android 19, would have led up to Android 17 and 18, and they brought like Android 16 up. That's when it got real when they started like basically traveling around the planet, destroying everything in their past so they could find Goku and get their brawl on. Um, the fights, of course, you had um, Mam oh, Namek. Uh, sorry, we had Piccolo. Uh, I guess they like got Super Piccolo, he we went Super Namek or whatever. 
<laughs> yeah, he was super dynamic. So that was an epic fight with him at 17. Um, 18, how she just fucked up Vegeta and fucked up the whole. It was just, just, it was just piling on, and it just got like really, like really fucked up. How they were just like fucking up the Z Fighters though, like they did not care at all. And then that number, uh, number three, the Frieza Saga. Um, then you gotta hear me out. Uh, Frieza Saga. What was free to start to throw down and I'm gonna get it in after the game for saga. <whistles> Beautiful baby. Um how Goku um for even before Goku, you gotta remember like everybody was brawling, so you fighting him, then you think you get an upper hand, and then like I think Vegeta like got an upper hand and he just bam went to the next level. Vegeta start bitching. Um uh, I think that's when um what Gohan went, went a little crazy, fucked him up, went to the next level. I think that's what Piccolo came down, you know what I mean? Bam. Fucked him up, went to the next level. Goku came down. He went to the maximum level of his power. And it was more like this man would not stop. And we got super see this phrase Super Saiyan. I mean, th through this um um saga right here. So that's why it always sticks out to me. And this is some of the best. If somebody said this is the best, you can't argue with them. You gotta let them breathe. You gotta let them live. You know what I'm saying? Now at number two. At number two, we have the Saiyan saga. Basically, the beginning of the Dragon Ball Z, all the way up to the leave planet Earth to try to own find Namek. This shit was epic, baby. They killed off the main character like four episodes in. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't know. Like, you didn't know what was going on. Definitely over here because... Because majority of fans... I'm just going to put a number on it. I'm going to say... 90% of Dragon Ball Z fans in America have seen Dragon Ball Z before they saw Dragon Ball. So you didn't have the concept of the Dragon Balls wishing people about the life like you really didn't know. You just watched it, you you learned the logic as you watched. They didn't break it down to you because the show is a continuation of Dragon Ball. So seeing him die, it was like confusing. And then him like gotta go and sneak away to see King Kai and and the biggest reason why it's so high is my introduction to Gohan. How they had Gohan like becoming a little bitch ass motherfucking like little bitch ass nigga to like well he still wasn't gangster at the end of the joint but he was more like he was capable to fuck something up and shit got real I like that like showing him first crying all the time and to, to show how he had to eventually learn to hunt yeah you know he had to he had to eventually learn to survive out in the wilderness and he had a chance to go back home remember he found his way back to the crib. And he looked at it, he, he looked at it, saw his mind, he's like, nah, I gotta go back, I gotta save the planet. So just to see his moderation through that, that joint was epic. And that's why it's so high my number two. Now, that's my number two, you gotta be thinking, what is your number one? What is your number one? Well, there's only one thing that could top the, the evolution of Gohan. There's only one thing, and that's the Garlic Junior Saga. Let's get it in, baby. You, you already know, what Gohan... Had to defend the earthquake. Goku wasn't there because Goku's never there when you need him. He and the Piccolo couldn't do his thing because Piccolo. Nah, let me stop. You already know I'm fucking with you. It's the cell games, baby. Only to break the cell games down. Just epic. Um, the fights was um key on um basically it, it was the it, it was the last piece to the to the trunks basically the um the trunk saga would lead to the android saga. And you know, like the imperfect cell, the perfect cell, then cell games was, you know, what's the finale? And um it delivered in my opinion. Um the fights was fights was epic. Um Gohan versus um Cell fight was it was okay, but but the the, the blast itself, like the, the ending the the last blast was epic itself. The Goku versus Cell was epic. Um Don't bring it back to tournament form. Like if you was a fan of the show, they didn't they didn't rock out no tournaments in Dragon Ball Z to them. Like in Dragon Ball, you had like three tournaments. Dragon Ball Z, first saga the shit happened with Vegeta and all that, so nah. Uh then they ended up going to Namek and shit, so nah. Um they came back and the trunk shit happened. So it was no time for a tournament. So for them to bring back the tournament feel for this, I appreciate that. And that's why I reached my number one. Now, I'm asking you, please write down your number one. You don't gotta write down the whole ten, but tell me. What is your favorite saga? Well, what? What's the point of Dragon Ball Z? You said that's it. You can't top that, baby. That's the number one right there. Um, you can write down your words if you like. Um, what else do I say? Oh yeah, if you like the video, thumbs it up, bro. If you don't like it, fuck it. You can thumbs it down, but I don't want you to. But it's your life. You do what you do. This was my mind frame. <laughs> Peace out.